We have one more question from Ken Bone about uh, energy policy. Ken? Before Ken Bone's question at the second presidential debate of the 2016 election would instantly make him internet famous. What steps will your energy policy take to meet our energy needs while at the same time remaining environmentally friendly and minimizing job loss for fossil power plant workers? Before his instantly iconic look and earnest demeanor would spawn meme after meme after meme. Ken Bone memes are everywhere. There's Ken Bone with the 90s rap group Bone Thugs and Harmony. Before he would appear on mainstream media outlets like CNN and Fox News, and the adult streaming site Cam Soda offered him a hundred thousand dollars to take part in a live, hour-long broadcast, presumably of Bone Boning. Do you have any idea of how adorable you are, first I, I want to say? Uh, that's a definitive yes. Yes, okay, good. Ken Bone was an undecided voter, invited to take part in the recent town hall debate between Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump, and since he asked his unassuming question about energy policy, he's captured the internet's heart, heralded as a force for good in an otherwise negative campaign cycle. You can do anything. Whatever you want. Grab him by the pussy. <laughs> I can do anything. You can put half of Trump supporters into what I call the basket of deplorables. The thing about the blacks <laughs> is that they're killing each other. But who's the man behind the red cable net sweater? While much of Ken's life remains a mystery, we do know he is a coal plant worker, he was once in a Christian rock band, and his age is, well, surprising to say the least. All day long, my staff and I, we've been pondering this important question. What makes Ken Bone so awesome? What's going on guys, I'm Matt Rubel documenting the life of Ken Bone prior to internet fame, here for you on Before They Were Famous. Now we've covered other internet sensations on this channel, uh, most recently we did the pineapple pen guy. If you're as interested in politics as Ken is, you might also want to check out our videos on Hillary Clinton, Donald Trump and Barack Obama. But we do all kinds of bios on this channel, so let us know in the comments down below who you want us to document next. My wife dresses me like all great Americans. <laughs> I'm just glad that I was able to bring a little bit of lightheartedness to a very divisive uh, night, you know, a night with a lot of uh, nastiness and name calling. Ken Bone was almost certainly born in the Midwest of the United States, likely in his current hometown, which has been reported as being either Belleville, Illinois, or Shiloh, Illinois. Although we do not know his exact birthday, Ken said on the Jimmy Kimmel Show that he was just 12 years old when Bill Clinton ran for president. Bill Clinton was a really personable guy. I would have voted for him if I had not been 12 years old when he ran for president. That would mean he was born in either 1980 or 1984, depending on which election he was talking about. So at the time of this recording, Ken Bone is either 36 or 32 years old. Given those options, most of us would probably guess he's 36, but he's also been quoted as saying, I'm not old enough to run for president. Taken literally, that means he is under 35 years old. So remarkably, Ken Bone seems to be only 32 years old at the time of this recording. That's only two years older than me or Michael. So like everything about Ken, even his age is remarkable. It was in high school that Ken Bone met his wife Heather. They have been married since 2004 and have a 12 year old son named Logan. But just to be cool in the eyes of your preteen son is uh, worth this whole thing. But before he settled down to have a near perfect family, Ken was more of a wild child than you might have imagined. According to a guy named Joshua Burkett, as a young man, Ken Bone played with him in a Christian rock band. Ken was the drummer, and at the time was a legend when it came to picking up chicks. And of course he was. Just look at that hat. Ken Bone studied at the prestigious ITT Technical Institute, which prepared him for a career helping the United States to meet its energy needs. He currently works at the Prairie State Generating Company as a plant technician, and often works demanding 12-hour shifts. Before the historic night, Ken was contacted by Gallup, 
who invited him to participate in the debate as an audience member. At the time, he had no idea whether he would be called upon to ask his great question, which he indeed wrote himself. Now famous for his sweater, Ken might easily have attended the debate in a completely different outfit. He was planning on wearing his grandfather's olive suit, but then tragedy struck. I had a really nice olive suit, but apparently I've gained about 30 pounds, and when I went to get in my car the morning of the debate, I split the seat of my pants all the way open. Ken had to scramble to find a new outfit. His wife helped him to pick out the now iconic red sweater, specifically in Izod's men's cable solid one quarter zip sweater in Red Dahlia. You could order one of these online, that is until it's sold out, or you could buy it the way Ken did. Well, if you want to find the sweater, I bought mine at Kohl's in Wausau, Wisconsin. Okay, so just rush there right cash. now. Of course, we now know Ken because of his question, but he's also garnered attention shaking hands with former President Bill Clinton, and for taking a picture of apparently empty chairs with a wind-up disposable camera. Uh, we were not allowed to have any electronic devices with us, and we were sequestered at the debate venue from mm -hmm. about 8 a.m until the debate was over at 10. Now as fitting as that old fashioned camera seems in Ken's hands, he apparently didn't bring it with him to the debate. Organizers actually gave these cameras to all the audience members so they could take pictures as they had confiscated their cell phones for the debate sequester. Because of this, Ken had no idea how famous he had become until after leaving the debate hall at Washington University in St. Louis, Missouri, and his cell phone was returned to him. I went from last night having seven Twitter followers, two of which were my grandmother, because she had to uh, remake her account when she forgot her password to uh, now I have several hundred. Now Ken was an undecided voter before the debate, but he was leaning towards voting for the Donald because he felt that Trump's energy policies would align with his own economic interests. But if you're hoping to learn who he's going to vote for now, well, I've got some bad news for you. Well, I, I know people hate to hear this, but I think I might be more undecided than ever. In fact, he said he will not endorse either candidate no matter who he decides to vote for. And what's next for Ken Bone? I am actually going as Ken Bone for Halloween because I look just like like and the rest of the story we'll have to wait and see because this is before they were famous. If you're interested in the election, I definitely suggest watching our bios on Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. We also did a fun one on Ivanka Trump recently. So thanks for watching this video. Remember to hit that subscribe button for new bios each and every day and let us know who you want to see next in the comments down below. And I actually cover a lot of politics on my own channel, Question Time, so Ken, if you're watching, I'd love to interview you. I'm Kenneth Bone and I'm here to say I've got a question for you today Something about energy sustainability Stopping the jobs from going overseas